This is the Key West Eco Discovery Center. It's a hidden oasis off the beaten path of tourists, but oh, so worth the visit. Why should you bother to visit? Well, first, it's free. Yes, I said a free attraction in Key West. It's also family friendly and it is something for everyone. You can learn about the marine environment in air conditioning too. This video includes basic information like directions and what to see and do, and of course we'll share our own experiences and tips. Keep watching this video, and if you found it helpful, like this video and write a comment. Welcome to HitFig. If you're a travel enthusiast, then join our community by subscribing to this channel. This is HitFig's Key West Florida Keys Travel Guide Series. This episode is the Key West Eco Discovery Center Travel Guide for Visitors to Key West, Florida. The Key West Eco Discovery Center is located in the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's Dr. Nancy Foster Florida Keys Environmental Complex on the Truman Annex Waterfront in Key West, Florida. Set your GPS to 35 East Quay Road. The Florida Keys Eco Discovery Center is located near Fort Zachary Kaler Historic State Park and the Truman House. We drove our car as it's a bit off the beaten path and we are going also to visit the Fort Zachary Taylor Historic State Park after our visit there. We drove through the historic district and then drove to Duval Street. It was getting near noon so not many people were up and around yet. Duval Street is better known for its nightlife. When we reached Whitehead, we made a left. Look for the sign for the Taylor Historic State Park. Luckily for us, there wasn't a lot of traffic, so we drove down the small street until we got to the Truman Annex area. You won't miss it. We drove past a security kiosk and then through a tree-lined residential area near where the Truman House is located. From this point forward, you'll see a lot of cute cottages along the street. FYI, many of these cottages in this area are for rent. We drove down to the end of the road and made a left on South Hard Street to the Truman Waterfront Park. The Florida Keys Echo Discovery Center is on the right side past the traffic circle. The Eco Discovery Center stands alone in a 6,000 plus square foot building. It's open Tuesday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. and is closed on Thanksgiving and Christmas. Again, admission is free and so is parking. We arrived in the free parking lot and there weren't many cars in the lot. So uh, we set our expectations kind of low thinking that this was going to be a dud, but were we wrong? It's a bit remote from the bustling main area of the historic district, so I think this is the main reason it doesn't get much traction, but it is really worth the time. Once we parked our car, we noticed the brightly colored artwork displayed on the outside of the building of the sea, coral reef, and mangrove shoreline ushering us into the entrance. When we first entered the building, we got a blast of strong air conditioning, which was like a big, cool hug welcoming us in. Inside the building, it looks brand new and modern. There is a map, information, and donation box at the entrance, and most of the friendly people who work here are volunteers. From the left side of the entrance, there are exhibits of the ecology of Key West habitats like the hardwood hammocks and the beach dunes. FYI, tropical hardwood hammocks provide an important habitat for many species of wildlife, including nine federally protected species. Make sure to check out the replica of the Aquarius. The Aquarius is the world's only underwater ocean laboratory. I can't imagine living here, but researchers do. It's pretty cool, especially for kids. Further in the museum, there's the display of the mangrove shores where there are displays of seagrass flats, coral reefs, and the deep shelf. We decided to rest our feet a bit at the Discovery Theater and watch the 20 minute movie, Reflections on Florida Keys Experience. 
It's a coral reef diving movie featuring water vegetation and sea life, and it was really relaxing, and I enjoyed sitting there in the cool air conditioning and darkness. After the movie, we continue to the Living Reef exhibit, which has a 2,500 gallon tank with living corals and tropical fish, which highlight why the coral reefs are important. There's also a live video from the reef, which was cool. You also get a brief introduction to the National Park Fort Tortuga. Not the same as going there, but at least we get a glimpse. Next time. FYI, they have very clean and nice restrooms. We ended our visit at the gift shop and then gave a donation in the donation box, although not mandatory, but we wanted to show our appreciation. We ended up staying for over an hour and a half, way longer than we had planned. Set aside about an hour, but if you're like us, you may stay longer. It was really a nice surprise and totally worth the stop, especially when you combine with the Truman House or Fort Zachary Taylor Historic Park nearby. Happy travels! Go to hipfig.com for more information or go to our HipFig Travel Channel on YouTube and be sure to subscribe for regular updates.